All right, guys, we're gonna go over this problem. I've seen several people on the homeworks who are struggling with it. So we are gonna pick out the key information together. So it says, Robbie recorded the average annual salaries of three jobs. So the first keyword that I see is annual, and we learned that annual means one year. So this is the salary or how much they make in one year. All right, so we have a public liaison who made 67,800. We have a web designer who made 72,500 and we have a tax preparation which made 53,600. The question says based on the information, how much more? So when you see the words how much more, that tells you we are subtracting. Okay? Uh, and it says, will a web designer make than a public liaison? So web designer is here and public liaison is here. And we do not care about tax preparation. It is extra information. Okay. So again, based on the information, how much more we're going to subtract the web designer and the public liaison. And then the last part says over a 20 year career. Okay, a 20 year career. So in this case, these remember this is one year and we want 20. So I know that over a 20 year career, I am gonna multiply whatever I get when I subtract by 20. All right, so let's go ahead and do that subtraction. I'm gonna do it over here off to the side. So which one has more? Well, the web designer makes more, so that's the one I'm gonna put on top. Okay, and then we have 67,800 subtracting. Zero minus zero, zero, zero minus zero, zero. Okay, well now we have a problem because I can't take eight from five. So if you can't take eight from five, you're gonna have to borrow. Okay, my two becomes a one, my five becomes a 15. 15 minus eight is seven. And then again, I can't take a seven from a one, so I have to borrow again. My seven becomes a six my one becomes an 11. 11 minus seven is four, and then six minus six is zero. So in one year, a web designer will make 4,700 more than a public liaison, okay? So that was our subtraction, that was our how much more. Again, they will make 4,700 more in one year. And I know that's one year because it said the word annual. Okay, they want to know over 20 years. So we're going to take our 4,700 and we are going to multiply out by 20 years. So zero across, mark it out. Now I'm multiplying my tens place. So tens place has that filler zero. Okay, zero, zero, 14, and nine. Okay, so over a 20 year career, a public liaison and a web designer will have a salary difference of 94,000, $94,000. It's over 20 years. Okay, so we've seen these a lot on our homeworks and I've seen a lot of confusion. Okay, so two key things are annual, actually three th key things, annual meaning one year, how much more, which means subtract, and then how many years, so times 20 years. All right, and that is how we solve that one. All right, let's move on. Now we have one of those combination problems. It says Jada worked 21 and a half hours last week. She earned $11.60 per hour of work. How much money did Jada earn last week? So first, uh, we're gonna look at vocab. Remember, we look at vocab first, and our vocab in this problem was per. And per means to multiply. So literally, $11.60 times the number of hours, okay? In this case, we had 21 and a half hours, okay? and we have a decimal and a fraction. So we learned that when we have both a decimal and a fraction, we are going to have to turn them into all decimals. So we have 21 and a half times, or remember per 11.60, okay? 
All right, so I know that when I'm converting a fraction, I can just keep the whole number. So my 21 will stay the same. I'm gonna drop my decimal and then I need to cowboy and horse my fraction. So I'm gonna come over here, cowboy in the house, horse outside, okay? All right, two does not go into one, but it goes into 10 five times, and we end up with zero. So this is actually gonna be 21.5, okay? We kept the 21, and then 0.5 is the one half. And then now we can multiply by 11.6 or 11.60. Again, this was already a decimal, I don't need to change it. But when you have both a fraction and a decimal combined into a problem, you need to convert using cowboy and horse. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna stack them and multiply. So I have 21.5 and I have 11.6, okay? Um, I don't have to line my decimals up, but in this problem, it actually worked out. I remember I didn't need the zero at the end because it's not necessary. So I'm gonna multiply out the six. So that's 30, nine, and 12. Got rid of the six, got rid of my carry, dropped a zero because I'm in the tens place. Okay, now I'll multiply that out. Five, one, two. No carries. So this time I'm multiplying out the hundreds place. Five, one, two. I'm ready to add. I have zero, 14, three, four, nine, three, four, and two. And then my last step is to count my decimal places. So I have one, two behind the decimal. So I will bunny hop one, two. So this is $249.40. So for this week, Jada earned $200 and $49 and 40 cents. All right, and that is how we solve a fraction decimal combo problem. Remember, focus on vocabulary first, then change them to decimals, and then solve.